there is an ancient medicine that has been continually practiced for thousands of years, and even after all these years, it is still very effective and well accepted globally. In 2020, during the COVID-19 pandemic, some cities in China, more than 91% of confirmed cases have accepted this medicine, and more than 90% of these cases have shown significant improvement from this medicine. So, what's the medicine that we are talking about? This is the traditional Chinese medicine. Well, today, let's journey through traditional Chinese medicine. In 2015, a Chinese scholar was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine due to her extraordinary contribution which originated from a traditional Chinese medicine work written in the 3rd century. A patient is experiencing a toothache on the right side, and the practitioner is inserting a needle in his left hand. Another patient is suffering from a frozen shoulder, which limits the movement of the, the affected arm. And this time, the practitioner is inserting a needle in the patient's leg. This marvelous practice is the application of the holistic concept in traditional Chinese medicine. Traditional Chinese medicine treats diseases holistically which not only involves different interventions, but also promotes the prevention of the, re the recurrence of diseases. This can further assist the healthcare care system in improving public health. Chinese medicine includes ch Chinese herbal medicine, acupuncture, and fashion. In Chinese literature, there is a plant which symbolizes a person who keeps their virtue which is not only affected by the negative environment around them. This is the lotus, which develops beautiful and clean flowers and leaves, despite growing in a very murky pond. The lotus is commonly used in Chinese cuisine. For example, the leaves can be used when cooking rice. The seeds and roots can be used to cook delicious soups. Interestingly enough, these different parts of the lotus are also used in Chinese herbal medicine. The leaves are used for someone who is suffering from excess heat, such as a sore throat and headache, while the seeds are used to strengthen the digestive function, such as a poor appetite, and the roots are commonly used to stop bleeding. This illustrates that the Chinese herbal medicine and to use our daily food to promote health. Acupuncture is a unique technique aimed to activate the circulation of qi and blood. It is widely applied in many different medical conditions, especially conditions that are related to muscles and nerves. It is performed by inserting needles into specific points on the body, many acupoints. Mastification is a non-invasive technique that is applied by burning muscle in order to create the heat in the body. This technique can be applied alone or in conjunction with the acupuncture in order to promote the health of the public and ensure safe practice. Traditional Chinese medicine, including acupuncture, has been regulated by law in South Africa since 2001. Acupuncture programs are offered by the Department of Complementary Medicine at the Faculty of Health Sciences, University of Johannesburg. Successful graduates can be registered with the Allied Health Professions Council of South Africa as acupuncturists. This enables them to practice acupuncture in South Africa. It is a great honor to have the UJ Confucius Institute involved in these programs. The acupuncture center consists of an acupuncture teaching clinic 
and acupuncture museum. This is the first center of this kind in South Africa, which is located on the first floor of the Homeopathy Health Center on the Dongfontein campus. The acupuncture museum is open to the public free of charge. All students and the public are welcome to visit our museum to enjoy a journey of thousands of years traditional Chinese medicine history. Lastly, I wish you the best of Chinese New Year. 祝大家春节愉快! Thank you. 祝大家春节愉快!